In this video, we're going to recreate this and rotate animation from Houston Cold. And as you guys know, this video editing style has been going viral all over Instagram. And just to add on top of it, I did put the project file for free in the description below as well as my discord server where I drop crazy amount of resources. And hey, you know what? If you guys are looking for short form clients, make sure you sign up the form in the description if you wanna get started with short form videos as well. With that being said, let's get into the video. So yeah, let's get into it. I already explained this interface and pretty much I'll just create the composition for you guys right now. So you're gonna have to copy this settings. Yeah, that's pretty much it the background will be black so as you guys can see right now scene one this is what we're going to cover that has figured out and then it would be the money glitch part and then obviously we'll transition into your brook but we'll start with has figured out and the infinite money glitch part so let's start with it so the first step to get into it i'll just try to find the asset of andrew tate posing so let's get into that first so pretty much um i got this undertake png which is what we need okay so i just placed a marker here real quick and what we're going to do is we're going to design our scene actually i'm gonna do the has figured out text after so first thing we need andrew tate so andrew tate let's say he's gonna be here or a bit bigger just customize it a little bit like this and then we're gonna write infinite money glitch so now i have infinite money glitch i'm gonna put this behind andrew tate the font is gonna be babies new and then bold and what we're going to do is we're going to go to par paragraph and make it this way so that they're all aligned and I set it in the middle of the composition so i'm gonna set it in the middle and then i'm gonna size it up or just do it with scale instead so that's much easier and now we create uh, gaps between the letters from here, so you can see. And I think this does a pretty good job, I gotta lie. Infinite money glitch. And we set it in the middle. Now we want to find the background that they used. Now to be honest, I did not find the exact background, so I'm gonna use something similar. And what we're gonna have to do is just hue this, alright, and find the green hue for it because we need it to be green and yeah something like that and then what we're gonna do is we're also gonna make it add or more like i don't know screen and we're gonna lower the back the opacity a little bit gonna add gaussian blur on it and just you know not so that it's not too visible like it's not taking the attention away from the actual background and i'm just gonna make it start a little bit earlier okay so i mean that background is decent and then we have the infinite money glitch over here and i'm gonna make that um also green so it's um basically lime green it's not exactly green same similar to the background but this is just the starting point the starting design what we're also gonna do is we're gonna animate this if you see in the actual andrew tate video let me show it to you guys right now if you see the money the the word money and the dollar sign is like basically flickering if i play it very slow so let's do that as well so that's actually very easy what you're gonna have to do is go to your text layer and on your text layer you just write up source text okay i'm gonna keyframe that and let's go for example over here i'm gonna put another keyframe and then go more in front and do it again and back to default so now it's gonna start with the money it's gonna be one two three four five dollar signs all right and then you see it will go to money it will flicker to money and then let's do it again over here it's a very small change but this is this, these kind of small changes is what makes it very good and then we're gonna add the little flicker on the text as well so let's do opacity and then lower it down at this point and make it go all the way up at this point or almost a little bit like let's say 75 or yeah and then over here it's gonna be directly 100 so you can see right now it's a bit weird but yeah that's pretty much and what we're going to do actually is just copy another one of those so that it's not like it happens suddenly you know 
and another thing i'm just gonna decrease the gap a little bit so let's have a look at how the text looks right now it looks pretty decent you can look at it again here yeah it's pretty decent now we have the background and the infinite money glitch set what we need is the fire particles so these particles are also pretty easy and we're not gonna recreate them this time but we might have similar particles i think these are very famous particles so let me try to find the particles and if i find it i'm gonna put it over here and in the description below okay so i did find a similar one which if we're gonna import over here you can see it's coming from this side all we need to do is basically just go to scale okay and i'm gonna do minus 100 so its position is flipped and then i'm gonna set it over here and put the anchor point right over here and then just make it bigger okay and now you can see it's gonna be pretty similar let me just get to its main part because over here it's ending from what i think okay and i'm gonna cut it put it at the very starting so you can see now we have a fire and i think all you need to do is go to add and this is what happens you can see now it's added and we're gonna have this below the stuff anyways and then there is another one called leaves which is also another one i found let me put it on focus mode so you can see and also he put some type of leaves from what i saw that's why i brought these so i'm gonna make just this big and then i'm gonna do change to color let me just choose this color all right come over here change to color and make it this and then set the hue to 100 so everything changes and now i'm gonna do add for this as well or actually my bad i chose the wrong color we rather wanted to the fire color actually so that it blends in with those fires so you can see the leaves are almost not visible but they are pretty good now the only thing is it's pretty fast so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pre-compose this and let's say for example cut it somewhere over here and then i'm gonna do time remap Control alt t get this and extend it a little bit so that the fire is a bit slower okay this is too slow that's good let's make it just a little slow okay that's good guys that's a pretty decent job now i'm just gonna decrease the opacity a little bit so that it's not too much okay i did scale it up a little bit as well so you can see now it's pretty decent now what we need to do is we're just gonna go to deep glow and add deep glow on this let's say i'm gonna make it 0.4 and then increase the spread by a lot and make it required for text and another thing we're just gonna do real quick is i feel like he did a bit of messing with uh, the text so from what i think i'm just gonna do something weird as well um, i told you this style is all about these weirdness so you can see this looks pretty good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keyframe the blur length and i'm gonna go for example when it shows money and make it zero and then over here on the dollar sign take that and bring it back go over here paste it again and then take this default one or just write zero over here so you can see it's also gonna be a bit messy for us however maybe the direction of blur can be towards this direction i think it looks better this way okay that's decent guys and now what we want to do is also just add a bit of darkness on andrew tate's face so i'm gonna do cc vignette and that actually does a pretty good job but it's a bit too much so we decrease that and then i'm gonna add a little bit of shade from below this is all designing by the way guys i'm designing before animating because this is the way i prefer doing it um, if you guys want to animate you can do that first but i mean the first scene you always gotta design it first so i'm gonna feather this add a little bit of shade um, not too much just a little bit and now we're gonna work on the magic so i'm gonna make all of this 3d each and everything okay and we're gonna add camera Okay, let's say we wanted to come to this position at this point and before it let's have it like very zoomed in so for rotation we're gonna have to link a null and then make the null 3d okay but you guys should know how to link a null this is just a shortcut for me you can get motion 3 if you want as well guys so it's gonna be something like this and perhaps minus 10 and then 
this is the graph we're going to do okay it's gonna be a graph like this as you guys can see right now it's gonna be a graph pretty similar to this maybe we can delay that a bit or just make it something like that because at this point it's not gonna be under rotate anyways so let's take this a little bit in front to be honest and as well as the position let's take this in front just make it all this way so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna add a solid on top of each and everything except it's gonna be like not only not under rotate and we're gonna have under rotate come up from here okay we're gonna do a mask reveal like how they did before it we want it to have to be like a full-on solid okay let's say this solid is gonna go from zero to 100 to from 100 to zero like this okay so you can see right now be fine and undertate is gonna be mask revealed and just before undertate comes up let me just hide undertate now we want to have the text has figured out okay like how they did and this is gonna be let's say Montserrat thin okay so i'm gonna make this in the middle gonna size in this down and now perhaps a little bit more thickness so light or just regular it's gonna be small okay and we're gonna make it 3d and i'm gonna go to the first keyframe and just do control home so that it's sizing down okay you'll see that now it's gonna change a bit of direction and we just want to counter rotate it to be honest so i'm gonna do this all right and then we want to be on more like a little bit on this side of green i'm just altering it a bit don't worry and now we're gonna add deep glow on this as well i'm just gonna take the same preset i used over here copy and then paste okay and we we want to do a text animation reveal so for that what you're gonna have to do is go to animation composer or text evo it doesn't matter and i'm gonna, gonna go to text layer over here and i want to do reveal word by word However, they don't have word by word, so I'm gonna use text evo. You can also do this manually. I'm just trying to save time for the video. So I'm gonna do opacity from zero, come over here and make it based on words. So you can see has figured out is gonna reveal like this by itself. And we wanna make this a little bit smaller and the deep glow should be a little bit more. The spread should be lesser. I'm gonna increase the deep glow by a lot and decrease the spread. I'm gonna set it more on the lime side. And then what I'm gonna do is duplicate, okay? Remove deep glow from the top layer and make the top layer white. So what happens is that only the back layer has deep glow. Now you can see it's gonna be basically the same way they did. Now I think it's a bit early, but basically we wanna counter opacity, the opacity we did on the solid. So I'm gonna go on both of this and put the same thing opacity and it goes zero so now this will suddenly go out and another thing i want to do is i want to make the delay zero because the text is taking too long to come sorry the delay a little bit lesser delay means how much it delays the animation so for us it's going to be less and right now what we're going to have to do is do the reveal for undertate from here so i'm going to bring on undertate and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to rectangle tool and double click on it. And when I double click, it's going to create an exact mask for the layer. Okay. And I'm going to do mask path. I'm going to go front and front and front a little bit more in front. And over here at this point, it's going to be fully revealed. Okay. Now let's go to the first keyframe and make this all the way down. And then set the graph to be 80 on both sides. And now let's check out the animation guys amazing amazing very good the only thing is the animation is a bit delayed within the camera okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just click you on these okay go over here the exact same part i'm gonna make the peak over here okay let me put the, both of those over there and then get over here and make the peak on this part and do the same for position gonna make the peak on this part so now has figured out will move the whole time and then andrew tate is gonna come smoothly there is other things that he did he duplicated the mask in order to make it look better and he also did something else i'll tell you what he did guys so 
you have to duplicate this okay and take it one layer in front the back one and make that have gaussian blur and after doing that you can see that there is one that will be the actual and the one that's a bit faster than it will be the gaussian blur one but the thing is it's happening a bit too much so i think i can just extend one keyframe or something okay that's that's decent we gotta slow this down a little bit it's too fast it's happening too fast that's amazing guys that's amazing that's amazing we can also have we also have the flicker in the back and we're gonna do final touches in the end which will make it also even better and now at this point we want to go to our your broke scene there is one more thing he does on the text layer which i forgot to tell you guys so we go to fractal noise we're gonna add something called fractal noise it's a plugin it's inbuilt okay and we just want to have this and we're gonna do multiply so what happens is that we get this type of texture however it's too much and that's pretty easy to change we're just gonna decrease the opacity okay actually i decreased it way too much we don't want it to be too visible and then what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna keyframe something called evolution okay let's take that and keyframe it like let's say make it two loops okay two circles so it's gonna have a bit of texture moving on it as well now it's not too realizable but it does the job now let's go to your broke scene so this is our camera and we did put a null to it previously so we're gonna add a null on top of the null okay so just the same way you guys can do this manually but if you have motion 3 it helps a lot just clicking null saves a lot of time so i'm gonna do position we're gonna obviously overlap the animation like as in like this but right now we just want to do the initial animation step by step right let's go over here i think it ends somewhere around here okay and we're gonna do a bit of rotation as well so what where we want to have it is like this scale it down a little bit guys something like this and a bit of rotation so this is gonna be our background and then okay so this is gonna be our initial position and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna keyframe it to be like this and then overlap it a little bit okay extend this a bit out so now let's check out just how it goes okay that's good guys and over here we want to add and rotate saying you're broke so for that there is a very famous clip of Andrew Tate saying you're broke so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna basically remove the background from it so let me just import the clip real quick after finding it so luckily I did find a green screen model of this which will really make stuff much easier so I'm gonna add something called linear color key and I'm gonna set it to green so what happens is that green cuts out but the only problem and then I'm gonna go to using hue so it's more accurate so you can see that's pretty accurate and we want to have him say you're broke so let's play it just to see you're broke. <laughs> that's pretty weird anyways now we want to do 3d on Andrew Tate set his actual okay let's do 3d on him okay and then bring to control home so it's his he comes to the actual place that we want him to be we take him down so his legs don't look cut out okay and we're gonna add cc vignette later on so you know that's not gonna be visible it's more like the black shade below uh what we're gonna have to do is do counter rotation so minus 15 and we want to add text that says you are broke so you and then broke and then add it in the middle make Fabus new that's the exact font we want to make this pretty big to the point where it's decently big so i think this is how big he has it and we're gonna add rotation it's gonna get misplaced again and our shortcut again control home and then counter rotation by doing minus 15 then just positioning this a little bit more behind so that's it's behind and rotate and then something like this so now you'll see so now i'm just gonna link basically your broke text to andrew tate and i'm gonna do andrew tate positioned okay so that he comes positioned from the left and you know it doesn't look weird and let's check it out 
Amazing, guys. Amazing, amazing. And then we want to add deep glow to the layer over here. For that, I'm going to copy and paste. It's too much, so I'm going to make it minus. And then let's check it. And over here in the middle of the transition, we have a little bit overlay like how they did. And that overlay actually thanks to Vez. He did slide it to me the other day who's the actual editor of these videos so so much thanks to him so we're gonna size in this up and we want to change the colors i'm gonna do change to color set the hue 100 percent and make it all the way lime green we want to see where it's gonna be so over here at this point and then keep going a little bit more front and front and we're just gonna basically make it disappear out of nowhere like this on this frame so so let's check out the scene guys this is a very very good clone i expected this to be worse but we turned it out to be better and now what we gotta do is we're gonna improve the scene a little bit so the first thing we do is at this point for android 8 we're gonna introduce an adjustment layer and on the adjustment layer we're gonna add gaussian blur and i'm gonna put it below uh, your broke so that it doesn't apply to it so now when i do gaussian blur you're gonna see what's behind will become blurry so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna sync it exactly with the movement so let's see the movement see the position over here the gaussian blur is gonna be zero and then over here we're gonna make it let's say 30 and we're also gonna add something called exposure so exposure is also gonna be keyframed from to minus minus two and we're gonna graph this to be 2f9 and then do this graph now let's play it in half quality so we can view it properly so let's view it right now guys look at this infinite money glitch and then you're broke let's have another look just to have a more clear and you can see the background is also getting blurry which makes it pretty good and now what we want to do is we want to add the stuff on top just to make this good look better so i'm just gonna pre-compose all of this okay let me take off the graph editor and then i'm gonna cut over here okay and now what we're gonna add is something called cc vignette on top of everything okay so this is gonna create a shade you can see there is already a shade being created over here now we're just gonna increase it a little bit more increase the angle or increase the angle and decrease and let's have a look at it now with okay that's good now we're we're gonna add s underscore film damage like how we did in the previous video on this we want to remove stain we want to remove dust we, we want to remove hair we want to remove scratches and we want to add a little bit of shake very less and there's gonna be a little bit of vignette from their side but yeah ours is an add-on and then we have a little bit of defocus in the starting so let's play it right now and see how it is so it also adds this type of grain which makes it very good and yeah guys we pretty much just remade the animation there is one thing i did forget though to animate your broke so that's also pretty easy that's not a problem but what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add a mask on top of your broke so when he says the word broke the word broke comes out so see here he said broke so let's do this and before it it's gonna be let's do that the word broke it's not gonna be there so that's uh, a little bit of addition and then the main thing that will make everything look good is posterize time we're gonna add posterize time and make this 16 and now let's play the final version guys so with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial and for supporting me if you guys want the project file it's gonna be in the description below make sure you guys check out my socials as well i'm gonna i'm posting over there as well dropping sauce every single day as well as i'm going to start remaking all these scripts as 
I saw there is a lot of requests out there and I am a programmer and I know how to use After Effects as well, which is the best combination. So I'm going to start making scripts just for you guys. And yeah, with that being said, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.